success for me and my research will look like uh, women going to the store buying flaxseed because they know it's going to help them not get over in cancer. And about one out of 75 women uh, actually gets over in cancer. And then unfortunately, in about 75% of the women, the disease recurs. So when they begin to treat it again, it has become chemo-resistant. They ultimately succumb to the disease. So the, so the mortality for ovarian cancer is, is pretty high for that reason. The chicken model of ovarian cancer provides an excellent model for looking at the role of a naturally occurring inflammatory process. If we could target the um, inflammation and oxidative stress associated with um, ovulation, perhaps we could ameliorate or prevent ovarian cancer. Got 400 old cancer-prone hens, fed them flaxseed for a year, and had some really uh, pretty exciting results. That there was a significant amelioration of the disease. That the severity of the disease was reduced by about 70 percent in our in our hands, suggesting that the progression of ovarian cancer could be reduced with anti-inflammatory therapy. So it seemed like a lot of good reasons to eat flaxseed or, or to feed it to hens. The long-term ambition of the lab is to turn ovarian cancer into a disease that women can live with instead of die from.